Hi everyone, it's Momentary Flux. Welcome back to Factorio, where we're making a Minmals factory using Bob's Mods. Uh, I have roamed around the factory a little bit uh, in between episodes, and uh, I generated a, a little list of things that I need to do. Uh, as I left off last time, the one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to get titanium production up and running. Uh, and then after that, I want to work towards some things that I'm going to need for the Blue Science. Uh, so I'm going to need to make a gold outpost, uh, and I want to get my oil production um, running a bit uh, more efficiently. So let's just start running around here. And uh, there was a couple of mining drills and whatnot I needed to shape up. And I also wanted to upgrade these uh, pump jacks to Mark 3s. So let's see if I can do that. Make three of those, and while those are building, let's go down here, take a look at our little mining setup. Yeah, I'm glad we made that iron outpost because this is getting down to it. Not much left. Wow. I mean, there's still about, I don't know what, 60, 70,000? Yeah, about 70, 80,000 uh, ore there, but man, it sure doesn't look like much. Okay. All right, we got our pump jacks. Let's go drop those onto the wells. Oh, there is one other thing I need to add to this to my list, and that's to go take care of those biters down by the titanium area. go type that over on my my off-screen monitor one, one thing also I looked at during uh, between episodes was I ran over here to see what this deposit is it turns out it's tin I also ran all the way over here to see what this one is because I thought this might be different a different yellow um, this is also aluminum this is gold uh, that's lead and then everything else is just you know it's uh, iron and copper I'm really I need some tungsten and I've I've been looking all over the place I might have to go on some sort of epic adventure out into the wilds and see if I can find uh, let's see if I can find it because it doesn't seem to be anywhere on the map okay where are those mark threes there they are Okay, so that ought to do a little check here after I place these down. Okay, before I put this down, so that's 0.2 per second. I wonder if, does that change to 0.3? Yeah, it does change to 0.3 per second. So what is the difference here? So mining pump jack mark 2. Excuse me while I drink some coffee while I check this out. Uh, mining speed is two, and then the mining speed here is three. So I guess it makes sense. I guess if so, these uh, those oil wells must be 0.1 per second without anything on them. Mm, yeah, 10 percent the yield. I, I don't really call it saying that. Maybe in the standard game, I think it usually says 0.1 per second when they run out. So this is, we are down to where, th th this is the lowest, the lowest this well will ever be. So let's take a look at our uh, refineries. And uh, now that we have Mark III pump jacks on there, how, what that's doing to our, our oil supply. It's nice to see copper is backed up. Still got backup on everything else except for steel. Carbon looks good. Okay. So it looks like we're running two refineries. Now keep in mind that um, we have an oil outpost already set up, and I have not connected the oil um, between the oil that's coming from the 
outside sources with with our with our uh, our local oil wells. Hmm. Now this. I wonder if we're outside of the. Yeah, we're just. <laughs> I was wondering why that box there for the for the flamethrower fuel hadn't been filled up yet, and it's because. We're not inside the area, the logistics area. Let me just pop one of these down. I guess the substation's powering it, so we're good. All right, so uh, let's get back on track here. Titanium. What does titanium need, if anything? I think it's just straight up oh, calcium chloride, huh? Hmm. I know we're making that. I just wonder what kind of kind of uh, production speed we have on it. I think we're maxed out. Got lots of stone. Okay. So uh, yeah, we have all the things we need to make titanium. I'm gonna put it over here with the rest of our metal making. Uh, I'm gonna redo metal making uh, pretty soon. I just want to get some uh, some better substations. And I also want to get some better, uh, or I actually want to get modules and get some beacons so I can, um, I can basically open-endedly make them as fast as I want. And this, this is really going to boost our efficiency. Well, maybe not our, our power efficiency, but it will boost our production efficiency. Okay, let's get a furnace. I don't think I can make twos, can I? Yeah, tungsten. Tungsten is really... I. Yeah, I gotta find some sooner or later. All right, let's make titanium here. I also want to say welcome to uh, new subscribers. I'm getting pretty stoked. Uh, um, I think a few people are finding my channel, and uh, it's 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 really cool. I'm very very happy. Uh, thanks for thank you for subscribing, and thanks for watching. I just want to say that. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't do I have to. S I bet you that's not a. It's probably a metal mixing furnace, isn't it? Or titanium. Nope. Electrolyzer. Oh, that's surprising. And I know that the electrolyzer Mark threes <coughs> also take uh, tungsten or need tungsten to be made. Looks like I have the orientation of these horizontal so let's keep that keep that going all right titanium will right shift right click shift left click copy the requirements I think 400 has been my number of choice for most subcomponents that's my sort of medium number of subcomponents I usually put in there um, if it's a lot sometimes I'll go up to like thousand four thousand depending on what it is but 400 pretty good we'll see how that works um, I think you basically just want enough that there's uh, that, you, that you're not running out in between um, trips from the robots because I mean if you think about it say I put a thousand in there the robots are gonna keep it topped off as best they can and if you do sort of run out of a, a, a resource well you know you have a small buffer you have a thousand buffer but that's gonna run out too so 400 I mean really what's the difference but the problem is is if you just shift right click and shift left click and copy them in there it's only putting enough production for like you know two items so the robots will um, you know they'll fill up the first one the thing will get made it only takes usually a second or two to get made and then they'll get a new job but there won't be you know they'll have to start from the beginning and you'll have big gaps in there so what you want to do is you want to have enough buffer where um, you know you can just uh, you can avoid that gap, and I think 400 is is probably even way more than I need. I, I could probably get by with 100, but um, it is nice to have that little little buffer zone. Say that the robots get busy doing um, a big task like moving uh, storage containers or something like that, where they're tied up for a little while. You have that you have that buffer. Okay. So I was talking, 
We're making titanium. I'm going to put titanium in my list of things I want from the robots. I suppose I could have just picked that up myself. Alright, so titanium. I am crossing that off my list. Pump jack mark threes. Did those. So the next thing I want to do is I want to connect my oil from the oil outposts to our incoming oil. I want to kind of monitor that and see if I need any pumps, but I think... I mean, we're not that far away, so hopefully that'll be okay. So let's see where are we we're taking. Looks like a. Where is this? Uh, it's dark. Just following our. Okay, so that's our final pump jack is over here, and that's fairly close to our. Uh, do I have coverage here? I don't have coverage here, so I have to chop these trees manually. Um, actually, let's take a look real quick. So here's our oil tank. If I just if I run a line straight down, where will it intercept? I think if we ran it to here, we could just uh, pop it into the line, and we'll be good. Uh, I can't remember what the flow, I think the, what is the flow, 10? <coughs> There's, I don't know, I'm not really clear on the fluid dynamics. But I know that these, uh, these pipes have a certain amount of flow. And, uh, that there's only a certain amount of pressure in the system. Which reminds me too, I can probably upgrade these to plastic. Uh... So at some point, you know, you do run out of the pressure and you have to get uh, some pumps in the system. But the small pumps only have a pump speed of like 2.5 or something like that. I think that, you know, what things start out with is 10. I mean, this is all shaky just based on sort of uh, evidence that I've, I've just been looking at it. But you can see, oh, pump speed of 0.5, pump speed of 1.5, and 2.5 for the Mark 3s. Yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing that the pumps, maybe the pump speed, the standard pump speed, maybe it's 0.1. So I think what happens, I, and I've, I have seen this, where if you put one of these small pumps in the line, where you're, you're close to something that has better pressure than it, you're actually slowing things down. So it's not a good idea to put them in um, where you don't need to. And they do serve as valves, so they're useful for that. But uh, these ones, 1.5, I think that actually increases the flow. And then the, the, the Mark III is almost absolutely for sure would increase flow. Uh, I'm, I'd be curious to see what the pumps do. And um, I don't have access to that information right now where the, the pumps from the standard game. But I wonder what their flow rate is. Uh, I don't know. Everything's changed, so it's really hard to tell. Okay, so here's something we need to request as well. Pipes. I want to keep a hundred undergrounds and I'm going to go for 200 regular pipes. Alright, let's get this finished up and get it connected. Gonna get rid of these trees so I have a clear view of my uh, area here. I bet you I can make a better pickaxe. Oh yeah, let's make titanium axe. Let's make five of these, or well, three. We'll put give this one to storage. I guess I did make five. Hmm. Okay. I didn't want to use all my titanium, but I guess I'll be getting more deliveries. Let's see how fa Oh my gosh, look at that. Holy cow. Titanium pickaxe one-shots a tree. That's incredible. I'll be picking up rails on accident by, like nobody's business. Okay. Let's get some pipes. I wonder if those... I think I've created those pipe uh, uh, assemblers 
maybe before I even had uh, logistics robots, so I might have to go down there and... Wow, that these titanium axes... The axes, as you all know, I'm sure... Oh, here they come. Uh, as you all know, it sets... It's not just for chopping trees, it also sets your de deconstruction speed, like how fast it takes you to pick things up. So, uh, if you accidentally right-click things, or it will just snap them up super fast with these uh, faster pickaxes. But man, it's... I like it. It's got to be a little bit more careful. Alright, so there's the Mark III substations. Um, this is something I want to make. I'm adding another point to my list here. Mark III substations, which are insulated wire. We're going to need insulated wire. Uh, there's a couple kinds of wire we're going to need, actually. So this one requires insulated wire, uh, which requires copper wire, and then I believe you have to tin the copper wire, and then you have to uh, combine it with rubber, which is uh, vulcanized resin, I believe. And then there's also gold-plated wire, which is used for some of the higher-end uh, electronics components, which I'm not sure, I don't think I have the tech for yet. Uh, I believe it needs blue science, the uh, level four science. So there's a couple wires. So I'm just going to try to set up a, a little wire making facility that creates some uh, tinned wire, some some insulated wire, and then some gold wire. So I'll probably get my gold outpost before I do that. Uh, let's see. Did I get the undergrounds? Looks like I did. Okay, good. So I was just being impatient. No power? What? Fix that. Yeah, this is getting pretty good. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting excited because we're getting close to the point where um, I'm gonna start working on, on uh, more, uh, more of the transferring some of the stuff over and getting some new, uh, new designs that are sort of hybrid designs with belts and logistics. Um, I suppose I could talk about that just for a second. Uh, what I typically like to do is I like to um, use the logistics bots to replace a bus, but I still like to design things with belts. So I get this kind of a hybrid system going um, where um, my requester chests are basically just dropping off resources onto belts and uh, that are specific for sort of um, uh, groups of assemblers, if you will, of like assemblers, like say, uh, transport belts or uh, inserters, that kind of stuff. So I try to I try to do that as much as possible, rather than just have you know a requester chest and, and a uh, provider chest for everything. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to. I, I really enjoy the design aspect of the, of the game and figuring like figuring out the little systems like this. This is a sort of one of those systems where I would consider, um, you know, these are these are all items of a similar nature, or they're all part of the same production chain. Okay, less talking, more working now. Let's get uh, let's get this oil connected. We'll go check out. We'll go check out the results, and then we'll go make a gold outpost. connected. I just want to hover over the tank here. So when that drops below 4.8k and the uh, tanker from my train empties out, this train should take off. Yeah, there it goes down to 5. Now this, sh this sh tank should drop. Waiting for it. I'm watching that green line over on the right here, and uh, um, yeah, I guess it's hard to tell if it's moving or not. It's yep, there go. Okay, so 4.7k off goes the train. Everything looks looks like it's working as planned. Now I bet you, with the input of all of this new oil, 
all of my refineries are probably re uh, firing. And what I want to do there is I... Hmm. Wow, look at that. Sorry. Distracted again. Uh, our iron has really hit the point now where... Um, I, I might have to start supplementing it with... with uh, what? I, yeah, you know what I think I'm going to do here? Okay, well, first things first. I'll come back to that in one moment. <coughs> I got to remember to... I'm like a cat who's seeing like... Ooh, shiny. I keep getting distracted by things. Alright, so... why? Uh, I guess this one... Still not quite getting... Um, getting all the oil... Looks like we're building some heavy oil. That's that's good news. Okay. Well, I guess we don't need to upgrade these uh, these refineries yet. I'm curious if I should get some Mark III pumps and do a little experiment. Um, it could be any off. We could do that. What I need to do, though, I'm gonna, I'm going to take iron production off of our local mining. Wow, look at how fast that titanium uh, pickaxe works. Jeez, that's awesome. Okay, so we'll take iron off of this. You know, while I'm at it, why don't I just upgrade this to electric? Let's see how many uh, furnaces I have. Yeah, this will only take a second. Let's make ten. Two more. Okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just deconstruct this and do this as electric real quick. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in uh, iron from our iron outpost via logistics robots instead of uh, instead from our local mining. It's time. It's time to start trans transferring. Eventually, everything's going to be from uh, external sources. Take a look at our robot numbers here. Wow, we're really boosting. Look at our construction robot numbers are flying up. They're almost even with logistics now. Let them go. Yeah, we must have ran out of our surplus there. Cool. <laughs> I love having lots of robots flying around. Alright, let's get our our ovens. Just waiting for some stuff to clear out here. I can go over here and do what I did last time and start in the back. That's a little trick I learned uh, where if you do three in a row and then remove the middle one, it'll leave enough room for a belt and two inserters. Yeah, it's whatever, however many spaces that needs. What's that? Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, just three, <coughs> three. It's like something lodged in my throat here. About three, three spaces. Okay, let's let's do this. Come on, little robots. Clear that out. Yeah, they just take a little while because they have to pick up all the um, the backlog of of stuff that's in the system or that's in the furnaces. I can pick it up myself, but I just you know then I have to task logistic robots to pick it up for me. So I just figure out could might as well wait. 
Alright. So, it looks like I don't have enough space for a substation in between here. I'm wondering if these power poles are actually necessary. I don't think they are. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't left enough space for um, subspatients on both sides, so I'm going to have to just put in some regular power poles. I suppose for this one, I could make um, I could make a couple of these Mark II poles. They, they have a little bit bigger coverage area. in my inventory here. Okay. There we go. Need some inserters. titanium pickaxe it makes picking up mistakes so much faster okay that should be all the furnaces have have inserters okay and now they all have belts so we just need power and I also need some requester chests mm, that's too many two will be enough we have to stick to our minimalist principles we'll do one for each side of the belt so we need power let's do a regular regular poles here Connecting with the big one. And then I made some Mark twos. Which it cover yeah, they cover both sides of the both sides of the, the uh, furnaces. I think I'm gonna need a couple more. I'm trying to get them in a pattern here. Which is not I'm not doing. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. I need uh, let's just try one more. I don't want to, I don't want any extras in my inventory because I really don't use them for much. Yeah, one one more will do it. Okay, there we go. Now we just have to tell this to bring in iron ore. And let's look. Oh, you know, I didn't even notice that our research had uh, finished. I do. I want to get this uh, logistics system so that I can see what's in our logistics system with a little more detail. Okay, iron ore. We want you. And we want a lot of you. I want 4,000 iron ore per, per box. So we're gonna really, we're gonna task those, uh, look at our logistics bots numbers now. Kinda how we did construction, now we're getting tons more logistics bots. Just past 1500 and this was I this is what I was talking about those big jobs where sometimes you task you know hundreds even in this case over a thousand bots to do a, a major delivery okay so the steel is just getting the stuff from our mining operation 
and I know that this is going to fail very soon and we're going to have to switch off of this local stuff as well also uh, I don't want to put it I don't want to do a system like this yet because if I do then the mining will never finish because uh, the belt will saturate and things will back up so I'm just gonna have to let it kind of dwindle down um, there actually is one other thing I could do maybe this would be a better idea now that I think about it is I can just mine these I can output these into a supply chest and just make the transition now that way I won't have a big break that that seems like a better idea to me let's do it that way I don't have to worry about this running out and we're just gonna we're gonna be reliant already on um, on sort of uh, logistics delivery instead of belt delivery for our ore. Yeah, slowly making that transition. Running out of our local resources. Looks like I got some more um, pipes here. I can upgrade. I think I got them. Wow, that is so nice. Oh, and a couple of requester chests. Let's get them lined up with our other ones. Let's copy that. Hmm. So these ones just need titanium. Is there anything else I would rather research? Yeah. Let's do some build distance instead. I don't really need those Mark III power poles. Did I copy that? Yeah, I did. So 4K. Oops. And 4K there. That's going to retask all of our logistics bots. We'll get our steel back in production. And at this point, I don't need this anymore because I already have uh, iron in the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this from a provider chest, a passive provider, to an active provider. And then the robots, I'm going to give it one second though for, I already have a, a major clog of robots. Eh, whatever. I'm just going to do it. So that, that will just basically get them to come empty this out and put it into storage instead of in, in this uh, passive storage, they'll put it in long-term storage. It's a trick I like to use to um, help move things around in my base. Okay, things are looking good. Those uh, logistics bots are gonna be busy for a few. Getting those, uh, getting those things filled up. I think I have some, yeah, just two more recharging ports would be good. Yeah, steel production is non-existent at the moment. It's, it's waiting for more, um, more. Uh, What's well, waiting for that iron ore? Okay, so I think, I'm not sure how long this episode is, it probably feels about 20-25 minutes, something like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end here, uh, and then next time I will work on uh, some other stuff. I'm going to need to make a gold outpost, get some, uh, some different, my wire thing I was talking about working. So yeah, hey, thanks again uh, for subscribing everybody who's new, uh, I totally appreciate it, it's awesome. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you have anything to, to comment, uh, please do. Uh, I love getting comments from people. So uh, we'll see you next time and uh, take care.